welcome to learn coding from scratch. Uh, sorry I haven't posted any videos of late, been really busy. Uh, Change homes from, moved from Bangladesh to Australia, now living in Sydney. Uh, the purpose of um, this video would be to uh, help uh, Java university students because I'm getting a lot of uh, requests from university students to do a video for any project. Now, I don't understand why do they run out of topics in Java uh, projects. So, I'm gonna just sh simply show, maybe do a couple of paths for the video. In part 1, I'm gonna show you the logic and part 2, I'm gonna do the designing. Not gonna be too much fancy stuff. If you wanna add graphics, you can add graphics. I'm gonna add graphics. It's just a graphical user interface, but probably not that much images. Uh, if I have time, maybe I'll do that. So let's. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna make a casino game. So let's open a new Java project. The purpose of this video is like it's the intended audience for this video is university students, so I'm not gonna explain a lot of stuff. So project name uh casino game. Then I'm gonna work in the default package, not necessarily a good thing, not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, so I'm gonna name it uh, Casino. I'm sorry, yep, super casino. Casino. I'm actually not sure what it's called, casino or something like that. It's just basically lottery. So you press a button and it generates random values. If you hit the jackpot, you win. Otherwise, you won't. So it's pretty simple. Just with just with. Uh, graphical user interface included in it. So the logics are pretty pretty damn easy. Uh, the basic uh, uh, the main purpose of this video is to uh, allow you to show that you can have any project you want and it's pretty easy to develop with Java. So what I'm gonna try is um, I'm gonna I, oh sorry what I'm doing sorry it's, it's a long day so so I'm gonna have a constructor here probably not gonna explain what constructor is and this is not a uh, what beginner um, uh, beginner tutorial so just Declared a uh, random variable there, and this method or anyway, you can see I haven't worked with Java for a long, long time. Anyway, so Java or C sharp for the matter. So what I'm gonna do is create random values and use them to check if it's all the same or not. So I'm gonna have a couple of integers x, y, and z. Don't name them x, y, and z for a project purpose. Don't use them names like x, y, z. And try to name them properly or appropriately or have some more meaningful names. Uh, so uh, let's generate some numbers r dot uh, next int so I'm gonna have the bound set at 3 because if you have it like more than 3 or probably 5 it, the probability will be that that much to hit the jackpot so it's your game you can do it whatever like but for me, I'm gonna just do, th do th just keep it to the back, keep the balance to three. 
So, I have three uh, integers and they have some numbers, I guess. Yep. So, if x equals equals mm, y and uh, y equals equals z, you can write this expression any way you want. I'm just not feeling like writing it any any other way right now. So if it is that you print out uh what jackpot um else you print out uh not tonight buddy Australian way not tonight might so um let's uh, put some breakpoints here as well to see what the values we are getting. Probably not in this point. Uh, yeah, I want to see the values of x, y, and z. So let's first run this in the debug mode. And, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, my bad, I haven't executed it. So, my Need a class public uh, yeah. So name it executable and declare a casino C equals new casino. By the way I bought uh, S8 plus and that's a gem of Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is a 7 gem of a mobile phone. Better than iPhone 7, that's for sure. Anyway, well, I'm gonna try to de launch it in debug mode. Yeah, I know. Why is unable to launch? Yeah, sorry, my bad. Uh, let's run in debug mode and. Yeah, I know. First value, you can see the value. This is my casino ID, this is my random ID. Uh, run it slowly. So, where is my x value? Uh, I have no idea where my values are. By the way, yep. Next value is something like that. Not tonight, mate. The thing is, I'm not finding the. Ah, screw it. Let's go to just Java. Yeah, go to Java and add some statements. Pretty bad air today. All my friends from. Country asks me to do this, so if you don't feel like listening to it, fine, don't bother. So now we have the values for us. So you can see it's um, not tonight, might it's 100. Zero zero. Let's see, not tonight, 101. One. You see, even if, even at the bound to three, it's Pretty hard to get the jackpot. That's why I don't want. I didn't want it to be more than three. Wow, that's a tough luck. Oh yeah, I got the jackpot. So that's that's basically that's the real skeleton or blueprint for a pretty exciting game. You know, if you have the images or the graphics and other stuff, if you're willing to t spend time on it. You can just create an amazing game out of it. What's the time? I don't know. It's nine minutes. But I'm probably not going to do the graphic graphical user interface in this part, but maybe tomorrow. So this is pretty exciting game. If you just add what the next part, what I'm going to do is uh, use the uh, swing to create frames and a button, 
and then print those numbers and if it is uh, jackpot you will get something like the whole you get you you are the winner or else you're not gonna be the winner and if you want for your project you can have images cool funky images and add maybe a bit more stuffs into it and there we go you have a cool university game or anything that's pretty easy that's pretty simple to do as well so in the next part I'm gonna sh uh, do the graphical user interface uh, sorry I was really off today but thanks for watching